So on today's shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do filters on filters or use multiple filters at the same time. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. So within Shotcut, we have a large variety of filters available for us to use, whether that's video filters, or whether that's audio filters. And the one thing that Shotcut does allow you to do is to combine certain filters together. So then you could do things that you couldn't do with just one filter alone. And so let me show you a good example of that because this is a situation where I think some people might be wondering, how do I do this for just a single filter? And that one is actually the text filter. So if I go ahead and turn the size position rotate filter off, here is the simple text filter. And so whenever I add this filter, I am able to do a number of formatting options, but when it comes to the position and size, I'm very limited. So, so for example, if I wanted to move things around, I can do that. And also if I wanted to resize my text, I could do that as well. However, if I wanted to do other things like rotate it or also scale it, I'm not going to be able to do that as effectively unless I was using another filter, in this case, the size, position, and rotate filter. So let me show you how that looks like. So if I actually turn this on, so I already have it added, and I play this, I can do a number of things that I could not do with the text filter by itself. Now, in this case, I'm also using a lot of keyframes, and so uh, this might be a little bit more in depth, but the whole point here is I'm showing you that you could combine multiple filters together to do things that you couldn't do with just a simple filter by itself. And so let's go ahead and head into the keyframes. And so if you're not familiar with how to use keyframes, I will leave a link to a tutorial I've done previously. And so in this case, I might be going through a little bit quicker than I normally would. So we'll go here and go to the keyframes tab right here. And so if you are not familiar uh, with where the keyframes tab is. If you don't see it, you could come up here to keyframes or you could come up here to view and then you could show the keyframes right here or there's also control seven. So in this case, we're able to see the keyframes for our various filters. So here we have it selected on the text simple and I don't have any keyframes here. Uh, these are simple keyframes, but if I choose the size position rotate filter, I have more advanced keyframes that I'm using down here. Now, in this case, I'm not going to go through how I did all this uh, because that does go into keyframes, but let me kind of show you in general how I did this. And so in this case, the first thing that I did was I applied a size filter here. So I added a keyframe here. So there I added the keyframe and then I sized it where I want. In this case, I just want the size to be right here. And then on this keyframe, I actually resized it and so I made it smaller. So if I go here to my scale tool and zoom out a little bit, I could actually zoom in and out. So I zoomed it a little bit bigger and let's go ahead and scale back in to zoom fit. So as you see there, it zoomed. And then if I go to another keyframe, I also change the size once again. Uh, but here is where I started applying rotation. So here's how things look like here in this keyframe. So I just went down here and added a keyframe. And all I did was I just rotated things. Okay, so in this case, I rotated this way. And then as I go forward, I rotated it again. So then we can have this rotation. And then here, I added a, another keyframe. So then it actually rotates this way. And then finally, uh, I just left the rotation alone. And here on my size and position filter, I went ahead and zoomed it out. So here it was like this, and then I zoomed it out. And then it just disappeared. So let's go ahead and look and see how that looks like. Right there, and then it zoomed out, and then it disappeared. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So that might look a little bit complex if you're not familiar with keyframes, 
uh, but as I stated a little bit earlier um, I do have a tutorial for that but what I really wanted to show you here was if you wanted to combine the multiple filters you can and it will allow you to do uh, different things that you normally wouldn't be able to do uh, with just the single filter by itself so in this case I was able to perform a rotation and resize um, with these filters combined and then when I went ahead and added the additional filters and played around with the keyframes I was able to do effects like this you know where I'm able to make the text rotate scale and disappear and obviously there's many other things that you could do with this and uh, this is just an example of what is possible if you're combining different filters and what's really cool about using multiple filters in shotcut is it's fairly easy for you to turn other filters off so say for example I wanted to turn this off I can and it'll just go back to the simple single filter and at the same time if I wanted to keep it on but also add another filter um, I could do that as well so let me show you I'm going to add another filter and it's not going to be anything really special just like testing out stuff so let's just say I added this uh, wave filter here so now I have a wave filter so we'll go ahead and watch this from the beginning so there is my text simple uh, along with uh, this size rotate and position plus a wave filter so that is a number of things and obviously if you experiment around with shot cut there are a number of things that you could do that can get a way more advanced uh, but I just want to show you how really cool it is for you to use uh, filters on top of filters to create well I would say a brand new filter and unfortunately as far as I know there is not a way to create a brand new filter out of multiple filters now within shotcut you can save each individual filter as its own customized filter so then you could reuse later but as far as I know there isn't a way that I could save all these filters that I have into one brand new filter so if any of you know how to do that uh, please let me know and I'll make another video on that uh, if we're able to do that so that is it on today's tutorial on how you can use a filter on a filter or basically multiple filters at the same time to allow you to be a little bit more creative and experiment with all the many different filters that Shotcut provides. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my Shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.